Bowl party is the week before. So I'm happy that. We're having it. I'll say y'all. It's taking. It's, it's with the fill up session with Black Journal. I'm the chair, so. I'm about to say what you mean. We, yeah, we, got, we gotta have tickets to go. Yes. Is it free? <laughs> no. No. But, but 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 let me clear, but let me clarify though. It's only fifteen, but mm -hmm. it's a pool party and it's an open bar. Oh, I know that's right. And it's all buffet, catered buffet. So it's not like your mother's cookout. We have a chef. That's cooking everything. And where is it? And it's gonna be well, I can't put he that. Can't oh, it's gonna okay. be at it's gonna be our mansion though. Okay. It's gonna be at somebody's mansion, a little bit outside of Philly, but you can take an Uber there. Okay. It's gonna be at a, a popular, famous, legendary journalist mansion. She's letting us have the mansion because I'm the chair. I'm the chair of the party. Popular Philadelphia journalist. Legendary. Legendary. And she has a mansion, and she's letting me oh, host it at her house. Yeah. And she's black. I got a right. caterer. She's black. She's letting me cater it. Uh, she let me get the. I got the caterer. I got the budget. The caterer. The open bar. Who you got to get to get this? Uh, again, I'm giving this to the Association of Black Journalists. I am on the committee. I'm the chair of the committee for the party. So sleep with the I don't sleep with anybody. I'm a man, so I don't sleep with anybody. Oh, I know that's right. To get anything. Oh, okay. <laughs> I love y'all. I don't know. I can just sit back and just stay to the side. Don't have to. I don't. What's uh, you know? <laughs> <laughs> well, point me in the direction. Where I you can that. still have a man. Come to this pool party. Come to this pool party. And those are the ones who don't keep one. Mm -hmm. You better ask. You better ask your face. Well, I don't have one to keep one. Well, we're gonna take you to this pool party. The network. We're gonna take you and get you together. Get you the network. And meet some bosses. There's gonna be a lot of people there. It's gonna be fun. And then the Saturday after, we're gonna we're gonna Can catch I you at the. <laughs> Shoot, there's so much space, you know. I, I fuck the space. I want, the, I want the tight space. Well, I gotta sit on the ball slab. <laughs> <laughs> you might be too old though. Yeah. And listen, hey, bills would be paid. Listen, listen, I like that old money. There are a lot. Of, there's a lot. There was uh, the last year I went to last year's pool party. Because old money is usually the longest. <laughs> mm -hmm. Last year I went to the pool party. This is when I was just like a spectator, and there was lots of money, old money there. So. There's plenty of people that is looking for an intern, an assistant, intern, intern. a liaison. <laughs> okay. They will, you know, that's what they, I mean, these are decoy words. You know, this is my <laughs> liaison. <laughs> oh, this is my intern. <laughs> this is my special assistant. Okay. You better look around how many events you go to and you see somebody side by side saying, mm -hmm. no realtor, no secretary, no, you know, vice president of management. It's always my liaison, my assistant, my intern, my mentee. I'm their mentor. You know, that crap. Mm. There's a lot of that goes on in the industry. So, mm. there'll be a lot of those too. You'll see them. Those always to the skinny little church bottom trying to. <laughs> 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 Love you. Can we start? Let's start. Let's start. Let's start. Wait a minute! You heard too many church, church Listen, bottoms. I feel like that would be oh my god. Pointed at mother. <laughs> Get it, baby. I said skip. Church bottoms. <laughs> I'm joking. Hey, Shay. I'm joking. Get it. Listen. Well, I like this. Hey. Well, all right. That's fine when we get into it. Yes, we are happy to have you back. Because yes. everybody loved the video. Oh my god. Yes. Both of them. That yes. was so good. Yeah, it was it was great. We gotta we I have, I have to do a, a, a moment before we okay, we do the Yeah, but yeah. before yes. we yes. Before, we got some new subscribers. Shout out to the new subscribers. If y'all didn't watch the videos back in late June, this is Mr. Ernest Owens. Black in a blue shirt. Yes. <laughs> he is fresh from coming from the Democratic National Convention last week, and he's here to discuss the tea with that and also the topics that we're going to talk about tonight. Yep. Um, if you're a first time watching of The Scorpion Show, please make sure you click that bobblehead over Mikel said, where you can subscribe. You can't see it there, but you'll see it on the video. <laughs> 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 and make sure y'all click the like button and share this video to Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, or wherever you choose to share our videos. Um, first, I want to start with my weekend. Let me tell you something. This weekend, I did not go anywhere. I was locked in this room on Ancestry.com. Oh, wow. And y'all know, um, two weeks ago, I did a video where I was, uh, I revealed my results to you yeah, guys. That if was you, good. If you did not watch that video, please watch that video. And I know that a lot of people were skeptic 
about ancestral DNA saying that oh they just tell you you're from anywhere and they'll try to match you with anybody but that is not the case with my DNA I was able to track down my my father's maternal side of her family so I was able to get um, her mother her who's father her? huh who's her you my, said my, my father my, my father who is what you said my yeah, father yeah. and then you said her oh my father's mother's side of the oh, family. Okay. And I got some of my dad, my dad's paternal side, but I'm still working on that. Okay. But the maternal side this is from his mother. Yes, I got it all the way down to to the slavery of 1830, where they were in this um, particular area of Britain's Neck, South Carolina. Oh wow! wow. And they had. Um, I what happened was I kept looking, I kept googling my grandmother's name, mm -hmm. and when I googled her name. There was this ancestry page that popped up that said who she was married to, and it had seven of the eighteen children that they had. So listed. what? Yeah, listed. Wow. So what I did was I clicked on her mother's name, and then it was like she married so and so, and they had um, fifteen children, and she was married three different times. So she had eight by one husband who was my grandfather. Then she had one by one husband, and then she had another five children. So that's 14, right? So she I was having babies. Yeah, 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 she was having babies, babies. yes. Yeah. So, but you know it's crazy because that's, that was that's the norm. Well, you know why it was normal? Because there was no contraceptives. There was no condoms. What is the excuse now? Not I'm even saying. that they had to work. Bills had to be paid. Like, they wasn't going to school. Well, there was no opportunities. You didn't have a TV and satellite. I mean, right. like, all you was doing was either working and sleeping. And having sex. Yeah. That was their entertainment, their mm -hmm. appropriation, their mm -hmm. comfort. What is your excuse nowadays? Mm -hmm. Let me uh, Don't do that. <laughs> I'm just... Baby, but I'm, the just saying, I'm just saying. I'm just saying, I'm just saying that you know. What is the excuse now? What What is the excuse now? And the crazy thing about that. it is that back then they could afford to have 15 kids. Well, they had no other choice. But yeah, but they had no other choice. But see, there. That was the law. Where would they go? If you was a slave, but, where would you go? But listen, know? but there were less resources and opportunities back then than there are today, yeah, right. and people today with only three or four can't even take care of them. No. Okay. Well, I just think the culture, I just think the culture is just different. I mean, I did. The culture is different. There was, the, back in the day, there was just no, I, there was no, no one had them in the day, they were married. Dropping babies. Right. Back in the day, they were married, and they were all under one household. Well, <laughs> yeah, but there was, but, but there was also other things. I just yeah, think I know the logic, a lot of shit. The, the logic was that you just didn't have, you just didn't have a child. No one in their mindset would think about having children and abandoning children. Like the culture now is that because there is this. It's not. It's not that they get them want to. Individual incomes. It's not. It's people not have money they now, want so to like abandon their children. But I do believe like drugs had a big part in families separating with. Because not even yeah, not even incarceration. not even going back to slavery, but just let's say seventy years ago. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? When it wasn't slavery was over and. Both parents were out working and they were bringing in the income, but even then people were having children and they were they were struggling, mm -hmm. but they were still able to afford right. those but, children but, but, even in their struggle. But, you know, but, but I go back to culture now because I think people don't realize that now there's a culture of people that not everybody, but in some cases there's people that have the mentality like I want to have a child, but that doesn't mean that I necessarily want to be with the mother or the father yeah. the child and have a family. Yeah, like right. now, like back then I think more people was like, no one was thinking, the person they was having a child with right. was like, they were together. Right. There was none of this, I'm going to go from because plantation to plantation and have like people that. have my baby and then dip. Now there's people like, you know, you're going to be my mama, mom, but that don't mean because by the time love. they so, make the baby and they're together, but yeah. by the time the baby's born, they're no longer together. And other people, people <laughs> want to have children, like, but people don't want to be fathers and husbands and anything right. else. Nobody wants to be They don't want to be fathers yeah. and mothers and husbands because they didn't got no parents. And, and, and if y'all just want to fuck, use condoms. That's what they use condoms. That's so what I said earlier. There was no condoms back then, so that's also why a lot of children was being born. But they were married, though. Yeah. yeah. So it's, you and know, they could do that. Yeah. Some of them were unhappy. Some of them probably didn't want to be in there, too. Well, yeah. listen. But look, let me go, ahead, let me go back to what I was saying. Okay, you go ahead and back so, to what I was saying. Yeah, terrible. okay. So <laughs> once, I, once, I found, once I started noticing I could click on certain names and I could see who they had children with, I found um, one of my grandmom's sisters had a different, uh, you know, marry into a different last mm -hmm. name. And I say, oh my God, I've seen these in some of my DNA matches. So you're able to search a last name and see how much DNA you share with them. So I was able to click on that name and it said that I had a high 
possibility that this is my cousin. So it was like maybe like fourth or fifth generation. Mm -hmm. And um, I clicked on that name and then it didn't have family tree. But it said the test was administered by somebody else who had the family tree. Mm -hmm. And I noticed that my grandmother's, my great grandmother's name was spelled two different ways. Mm -hmm. So I contacted him like, what's the thing? Yeah. And he was like, call me. Like, soon as I sent him that message, he gave me the number, and I called him, and we were on the phone for four hours Saturday night. Mm. Um, just, you know, name and who is this guy? His name, his name was Jonathan. Is he related to you? He's related to me. On Back in the Plantation, his great-great-great-grandfather was brothers and sisters with my great-great-great-grandmother. Mm. So, now, Jonathan black? He's black, but he's, you know, he got that light skin in him and oh. all of that stuff. But it's, um... It was just amazing that I was able to do that. And then what I was able to do, what he did was he added me to the Facebook group with um, that side of the family that has um, the two different spelt last names mm -hmm. and then the Davis family, which is my grandmother's maternal side, mm -hmm. maternal side of the family. So we were all able to connect and we added all the sentences into the group. So we've been connecting and chatting and sharing pictures and everything. So it's been fun. Like you it's come through here. Yes. Like Inception, <laughs> Inception DNA is definitely worth it. And for all those skeptics out there, don't knock it until you try it. Yeah, right. And it's only a hundred dollars to just from DNA and for them to test you, you know where your um your DNA, what countries you're from, and then you can find families. And I've been um I'm linked to like different people in New Orleans and Texas and um, California and stuff like that. I haven't contacted them, but it's just it's just fun piecing your family tree together when you don't like it's just good to know where you come from, right. and you don't even yeah. know, and then you just find all of these people. It's like the best thing, right? So it's been fun for now. So you know that's my ancestry portion of the show. Um, Ernest, last week y'all know. All the delegates came to Philadelphia, and the Bernie supporters and Bernie and Bus, Bernie or Bus people here. Yes. There was a lot of shit going on. It was a lot that made me stay my ass home. Okay? Yes. Mark, if you was home. not had any parts of the DNC, it was best that you watch it from the, the television screen at your house because I'll tell you right now, the people that was not a part of the DNC trying to get inside the DNC, they were not having that, and those that were trying to do these private scalpings at the clubs and all that all that extra like mm -hmm. this was not the plebeians. Mm -hmm. This was really, you know, this clearly was a either you in or you not kind mm -hmm. of situation. Mm -hmm. And those who were trying to get in where they could fit in, this was not the time to do it. Right. Citations was getting handed out, arrests were being made, people were losing money and all other things. Mm -hmm. There was a lot of edges when I was walking to the DNC. So tell us about your experience. So if our first is this your first DNC? This is my first DNC. Right. I'm only 24. I'll be 25 in October. All right. So I was in college when the first DNC would have happened around my legal age. Mm -hmm. 2012. Yeah. That was like, oh my God, I was 20 then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then one before that was 16. So now <laughs> this is the, so this is the DNC that I was able to go to. Old, it was man. Philly. It was in <laughs> Philly. Um, <laughs> okay. Wow. Well, <laughs> but so no what no so I was there um, you know I had a lot of things going on I was doing a lot of coverage for a lot of different media outlets of course Metro Ernest the Pain every Friday mm -hmm. um, so I was doing some stuff for Metro along with my column that I have for them um, I did some stuff for Philadelphia Magazine some you know LGBTQ coverage they had the first ever black trans woman um, to do a DNC as a delegate so I got to interview her before all the other news outlets did shout out to Sharon Cooks that's her name. Um, and she's actually a Philadelphia delegate, so she was great to you know do stories with for Philadelphia Magazine. I did a DNC after parties correspondent gig with WHYY here in Philadelphia, and then I did something with BT because ever since the Justin Timberlake thing, they've put me on as a contributing writer for them. So now I get the right for BT. Did you hear his comment on his speech last night again? We're not going to talk about. It. We'll save that. <laughs> but I'm not worried about Where him. Where is he at? I'm worried about the Teen, teen Choice teen, Awards. Teen choice but I'm not worried about him right now. I'm trying to tell you all about this DNC. So <laughs> having those gigs and opportunities, you know, that was my purpose. I was there to cover the DNC from different angles, um, what was going on inside and what was going outside during that whole week. Mm -hmm. So my job really began at 9 a.m. and I got home at 12 a.m. because I was doing this stuff all day. And Uber was a well, Uber was 
Okay, it was weird. Uber was a weird situation because sometimes going from Center City to Wells Fargo Center mm -hmm. was like three seventy, and sometimes it was thirteen dollars. Uh, so, is that with the regular fare or with the carpool fare? No, I was doing Uber pool. I, okay. I mean, at this point, I wait, Uber three dollars and seventy. It was weird. It was it was just weird times. That that even, just quick. Listen, that it was, doesn't even seem right. It, I mm -hmm. screenshotted it. On That's Facebook, crazy. people, I was three shot on Facebook because I didn't even believe it. So I was like telling people, here we'll see. That price would make you think that it was right around the corner. Yeah, no, right the corner they were doing weird. Well, first of they lied. I don't think I remember this, but Uber was saying it was doing two, two fifteen. Fifteen. That ne that never happened the entire time. What? What's two lies? Two fifteen was supposed to be the price that they were supposed to get to people that's going to the to Wells Fargo for the DNC, like people that was going there uh, for that special week. They were going to do that. They did not do that. They were lying. Mm. Not have well, they did change I want to see cars receipts. to American flags. Well, that's cute. That's cute, but that's not <laughs> discount. Discounts are cuter. Okay, I don't care about that. Discounts are cuter. So, beyond the Uber situation, my days were long. My days started on a yacht party that they had some DNC yacht party, which was on the Saturday before the DNC kicked off. Mm -hmm. I went to a bunch of happy hours, political stuff, all the way through. Now, here comes my drama, my moment, my thing. So, Sunday, the day before the DNC, um, you're supposed to get press credentials, media credentials to go inside the DNC and cover the event. Um, you know, I sent my, okay, so I, you know, like I said, I read for different publications, but when you apply, you're supposed to really send it through one media outlet because they keep, they're not going to give you like a bunch of credentials because you can technically give it to anybody and everybody can have one. Mm -hmm. So they're supposed to be, go through one. Well, on the application, they asked the question, do you write for multiple publications? And I checked the box in because I'm honest, you know, I'm 100. Mm -hmm. Well, apparently that apparently bit me in the ass because they wouldn't allow me to get any credentials. Wow. To go do the DNC. So they, no. they were just, they just didn't give me one. They played well, me. Like, I was like, I'm going to tell you. They let me, they let me, they let me, you know, the entire time I sent my application, my people sent it, the publication I was writing for, they sent it. And then the Sunday when I was going to pick up my credentials, we thought my credentials were missing. Maybe they lost it or something. They were like, no, you was not granted one. And they was under the impression that I was, instead of them doing the homework, mm -hmm. they were under the impression, the DNC press was under the impression that I was trying to get multiple ones, or for that because they knew I wrote for multiple ones, they thought I had applied six, seven different times. I only, I only applied well, one. why didn't they just say, they if you work for more than one publication, do not apply? Or they could have just said, just only apply for just one, which I yeah, did, which rather than asking multiples. Mm -hmm. But they, they just didn't want to let me be great. Because the problem is, is, like I always tell people, I don't work for these companies, I work with these companies. And so, when you're working with them, you're not obligated to do any assignment. Mm -hmm. See, anybody who gets a credential, a press credential info company, they know for a fact that company's going to. Me going in as somebody who's kind of working with these publications, I don't have to do it for any of these groups. Mm -hmm. I mean, I do want to because I want to get a check, mm -hmm. but I'm not obligated to. And I think that that was the difference between them choosing to give me a credential or not. Mm -hmm. So I sat there and I'm looking like, so y'all really not going to let me some y'all really going to think that's going to be cool? Y'all really not going to let me? Mm -hmm. The press secretary and I knew each other, so he gave me a hall pass. Now, I know this makes, this is this is some BS because mm -hmm. The way it works, but the whole DNC, got you in the building. Oh no 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 no! That's not the. This is, oh no! This is, this is this is not even. <laughs> this is nowhere near the story. Before you get in, the, in order for you to get to Wells Fargo, mm -hmm. you have to have some type of credential of some type. Okay. The security is going to flee. Uber drivers, whoever you with, someone got to wave something. You won't even drive in without waving. They're not going to play this. Get you in. You have to have something to get in the stadium. The Secret Service. The Secret there. Service, everybody. So I'm in the parking lot. So I get through with the. So at first I was like, I don't want this hall pass. Mm -hmm. Because this, this is an insult to my intelligence. I felt disrespected. Here I do write these stories, and y'all gonna give me a hall pass in this city? In Philly? Right. Bathroom? Right. I'm not doing none of that. So this was some BS. So the way it works is you get this certain credentials. All right. There is the parameter, which means. As press, you can just be around the area. the area, but you can't go inside the building. As if you catch a celebrity or somebody out, you can talk to them outside, but you can't get inside. That's one. Then there's the hall pass, which is you can be in the hall, but you can't go inside the arena actual stage. Okay. Then there's the arena pass, where you could be in the arena, and then there's the floor pass, which is only for delegates. Okay. So these are all the levels. So the hall pass is kind of like I'm inside the room, but I'm not really inside, inside. the room. Mm -hmm. So... Once I got, you know, got, the, I said, at first I was like, you know what, I'm just like, screw this, I don't want none of this. I was annoyed for like a couple of hours. Then I humbled myself and said, you know what, let me get this hall pass and see what I can do. Mm -hmm. Because this is also my city, 
and there's journalists here that I know, so something may come and work. Mm -hmm. So I went ahead, took the hall pass, the one day hall pass for Monday. I went in there, had my pass, whatever, got in, got through the Uber and got inside the arena. Once I got there, I met a um, guy that I used to work with, um, who's a part of my organization, I'm a part of the Philadelphia Association of Black Journalists. Shout out to them. He, you know, was a you know older guy who you know had political connections out there. You know, I always tell people if something's not working out, be honest, so that you never know who can help you. Mm -hmm. I can went in there and say, yeah, everything good yeah, front of right. it. Didn't I do that? I said, I'm mad as hell. I ain't gonna take you anymore. Mm -hmm. So I told him, I said, listen, this these days, you can you believe the press secretary, who was a black man, can only give me a hall pass. So what did he do for you? So he said, look, I got to connect to him. So Joey and his camera type, he says, I got to connect here. Whatever you need, I can get you what you need. I said, I need it all. This person, can't say they name, had a staffer, got me a staff arena floor pass. I know that's right. Okay. Staff arena floor pass. Even though I ain't see you on no TV screen, but I know that's right. <laughs> Listen, I didn't. You can no, Google it. I'm just... You can Google it. I, listen, on, on, no, Instagram, listen. on Instagram, he tried it. <laughs> on Instagram, <laughs> you I went that. crazy when I had that I moment. I was on that floor. I was on the, the front section. row with the delegates. With the Bernie people. Well, they're mixed. Oh. But they're, well, by, the, listen, by Wednesday, all the Bernie supporters that were staying there they irked me. We were, 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 were Hillary delegates by the end. So there was no such thing as Bernie delegates by the end of the week because Obama and everybody else got them in formation. But that's another story. Sit in the front row, mm -hmm. had some of my friends, we were in the front row, Obama's about to, this is before Obama was speaking, that was the day before Obama spoke. And I was in the front row on the floor with the delegates chilling like I was one of them. I know mm -hmm. that's right. So I had a Joey and the camera. So moment. did you connect with any of the delegates who were on the floor? Oh yes, I just sat there, chilled with them, talked to them about what their days was like. They told me it was hell in the same. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Basically the whole day what the delegates do is they go and they have these meetings and they go to these caucuses and talk about pol policies and the democratic platform and all this nonsense. They're really excited when they get to go to the night because they get to see the speeches, they get to see the celebrities and hear them speak and they get to have like that loud experience. I mean honestly, the DNC is really all about the delegates. It's all about them because they're the ones who vote and, and make vote, the nomination right, for the right, candidate. Right. Everybody else if you're not delegates on the media, you really don't matter. It don't matter. You really don't matter when it comes to the Democratic National Convention. It is a convention for Democrats, aka delegates and elected officials that come in there. And so, you know, being able to be on that floor was great. Um, having the staff pass, I was in all the media rooms. I got to network with the media people. I saw all the elected officials. I saw some celebrities. So I wait. saw Nancy Pelosi, Jesse Jackson. Wait. Goes so what's some of the tea that was spilled on that arena floor while you were there? Some of the tea that was spilled over before. Well, what was said thing, about Bernie? Or what was said about Bernie? Well, first of all, Bernie Sanders supporters, shout out to the disgruntled ones. I got shout out to who the this, this disgruntled ones. Because <laughs> that was a there's a story at Philadelphia Magazine, which is a publication I work for. There and I knew this was going on, but we didn't really know, we didn't write about it then. It came out this weekend. But um while I was there, the ones that were mad, what people don't know is that those credentials had no pictures on them. Mm -hmm. That's why they were slide up in there like Joanne, because mm -hmm. I was able to really, there was no pictures. Mm -hmm. As long as you had the colors, you could go in. Mm -hmm. So these Sanders supporters who was like, I'm tired of the NC, I don't want it. They, one of them gave me theirs. Wow. You should have gave it to me. Listen. I should have applied to I you. Would, listen, you would have got past the subway station. You got one of the suit. I got a suit on. I look like, I look like, listen, I look like I was somebody. I came in there with the hair and I was looking like, look, you got to look like, not for a You got to look like you belong there. You wouldn't have got past the ATT station. You had to look, look, you had to listen. Now that's what I will say. You had to look like you was, like I had a suit. Taylor, what's that shade? I said you got put a suit because we ain't used to you looking like much. You got put. Oh, no, no. <laughs> I mean, he's done. He's cool for the summer, he's but he's like, oh, he's cool for the summer. He's trying. It. No, I'm saying you gotta know. Listen, listen. you gotta listen. But you are the guest. Let's be real. Let's be real. I'm just saying. Let's be real. Let's be real. <laughs> if you went to D and C, I'm not saying everybody's everybody dressed up. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday best, Sunday best, and and you got you know so so that wasn't they wasn't they wasn't bugging they wasn't bugging with the with the with the with the credentials as much as I thought they were. As long as you just looked like you knew where you was going, you wasn't asking questions, looking stupid, you was fine. What happened with the Bernie delegates? So the Bernie delegates, some of them was mad. They were selling it. 
There's a story going on right now that there was a group of them that was selling their credentials and they made upwards of fifth, what five thousand dollars just to be on the floor. Because you history, history. Yeah. you are witnessing the final speech and these of the last black money. president we've had in a long time. Mm -hmm. You are witnessing the speech of Michelle Obama, who was this epically saying. You mm -hmm. get to hear Bill Clinton speak, and you get to hear and see in the in real time. The first ever female presidential Democratic, no, not presidential nominee of a major in our history, party, yeah. of a major part of history. So that is a moment you can never erase. Mm -hmm. And then you get to have the placards, the little things they held. That thing is, I'm sitting, I got the Hill one, the Michelle one, I got those. That is going to be all that worth money, money they spent could be worth money. And That's going to be worth because I have all of them. Mm -hmm. Yes, you can take oh, them home. Right. People were trying to take them. I took some. I have some in my house. I mean, I'm going to have a piece of something that. You know how they keep these old things. Mm -hmm. You know, years from now, I'm gonna be able to say, yeah, I was in that room in that moment and got to experience that. So, did you take home any? Of the it was worth it, huh? You took home some of the confetti too. Yes, I did. The shredded <laughs> email. I sure did. Though. The shredded email. I'm joking. I'm joking. I said, listen, I wanted one of the balloons, but you know, it was just too much. Mm -hmm. People was losing their mind out there, but it was a great time. So the Bernie said this. Uh, delegates who were mad and didn't want to stay the whole time. They sold their credentials. They made their money. So there were people making some some money. Either you had some good connects or whatever. But the moral of this story, as far as my DNC experience goes, as far as that, before I tell you about the parties, I was happy to be able to have the experience to get to go. I always tell people, don't let the first no, don't take, don't ever take the no, the first no as an answer. Mm -hmm. Now the second, third, fifth, fourth, fifth, okay, then you can't be out here just. Not taking them, but don't ever let, That's don't ever mind. take the first no for an answer. Mm -hmm. They told me no credentials, and I looked at them and said, "How? If we wanted to I'll apply for a credential, would we would have been able to get in there?" I think if you would apply, oh, first of all, they were they were done in advance. Like this was three months in advance. Mm -hmm. If you apply, you tell them what your media outlet is and what you do, then they would they would work. normally would do it. But you have to have had a media source. So you all have a very popular show on YouTube. I don't see how y'all couldn't because there were some YouTube channels mm -hmm. that were right. there. The Young Turks, Young Turks. They, the Young Turks was there. There were YouTube shows. So I feel like based on the type of viewers you all have and y'all do it on a regular basis, mm -hmm. y'all like some of these people that be dropping them like once a month. I love y'all the Shade Room, but I just want y'all to like, give me more episodes. I miss them. I love they do YouTube videos. The Shade Room, but they won't. They won't let the Shade Room go to DNC. Y'all talk about things, but. They they do no it's 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 um yeah they 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 they, they, they did, did this DNC they diversified the media like it was like people had YouTube channels people had anybody who applied they had different little stuff they they had Vine talent I think they had Vine talent they just had different people doing social media well, stuff to part of the Vine talent that I'm used to seeing well not divine Vine. Vine, V-I-N-E. Yes, yeah. yeah. I said I hope that it's not the Vine talent, but I'm okay. used to see. Okay, okay. I know some kind of look at my talent. I was just talking about all of you. Now we look back. I was just standing over here, just listening. He thought he heard me say something. No, I thought she said something. But I said what I said. The no, Vine talent. talent. Right. Okay. No, you're right. One, so, so tell us about six. some of these people. I seen you with Nancy Pelosi. Yes. I seen you with Amorosa. Yes. Um, what was she doing then? That was so weird. She was seeing all the I know what she was doing. I know what she was doing. She was cooning. That was the last picture Woo. I took of the night, and that was an important picture in my head because I was sitting there looking like, here is this woman. You know, like, like that's how he was facing. They should have moved her out of that state. Well, no one knew she was really. She was really incognito, so she was really low key. Um, Taking but I found Taking that that information. To well, she, well, she got a but she got the, She had a new fiance. Yeah, and she was showing that. off there. So I missed him. Black? He is a black man. Surprisingly, he from like South Carolina, Carolina or something. Yes, he is Southern old money. They mm -hmm. say he got what coins. He got money. Well, Michael Clark Duncan had coins right. too. He passed away. And she gotta get that money. But anywho, she didn't. I thought she got. No, she wasn't married to him. No, no. I he didn't leave nothing to her in his will. I don't no. think so. I think she was fighting for that. Oh, they were fighting for that. I, I, I know. <laughs> <fast. No. laughs> you are. <laughs> You got that charm, check, gross, remember, that. Yeah. Yeah. You keep but that she got, but she got a new, but she got a new man, and she mm -hmm. looks, she looked happy. Um, I always say people look happy. I don't know if they are. I, you know, now you look. Keisha Knight Palmer was going over her. That's like a whole other topic. Yeah, right. You know, I'm just saying that we don't, we don't, we don't, you know. So <laughs> I saw her, Jesse Jackson. Oh my God, so many people. Um, Elizabeth Warren. Warren. He wasn't even looking at Elizabeth, Elizabeth Warren. Warren. Jesse Jackson could yeah. be a laugh that I can sit on. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you know that old record there. Huh? No, I 
can't say nothing about the dick except to laugh. I'm sorry. We gonna have to get you. I mean, I, I heard Jack isn't working as well as it used to anymore, but like. Baby, they <laughs> said Grando was popping down at the DMs. Woo! It, it was a lot of things popping at the DMs. Okay? Yes. There's a lot of things popping. That I don't do no Jack to Grando. That's why it was wrong with you. <laughs> <laughs> So let me see. I think I think that no, I think there's a lot going on. There was a lot of DNC DL DLC. We should really call it the DLC. Listen, Grind Jack inside the thing. That thing will think. Don't think. Let's see. 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 let us the gay, like you said, you know, but, well, the thing was, I used to lead in with the shake my hand, what you wear for, or for G Philly from here. What's G Philly? Oh, it's the LGBT. Oh, they, you know, you say, like, for me, that's, uh -huh. I'm, I'm so free with myself that these are afterthoughts. Mm -hmm. They're like, oh, so yeah. what is G Philly about? I'm like, it's about mm -hmm. the gay news and the LGBT. A lot of them the white men So they want to know, they, they want to know that they 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 there was a lot of parties in the neighborhood for the DNC, mm -hmm. and it was just a lot of people just out there that I know any other time. And yeah. so when I was doing a YouTube, when I was doing an Instagram video for the, the social media for G Philly, yeah. those people literally died. <laughs> 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 oh, the happy hour. Because they left it. Why? Because all of them like, listen, <laughs> well, I don't even listen. Oh, first of all, if you like that, you shouldn't even be yeah. in the out bars. Yeah. Because when I do the social media, someone should be tagging. You know those people tagging people? In the videos. And I'm like, Joe, is this you? Question my question my question. Yeah, like, that's him. Oh, yeah. there was a lot of stuff going on this weekend that we were house of cards. It was a lot. I was like, you know what? You came to the wrong place for that. You should have been XO Lounge. I don't know. Wait. Damn it. Listen. All right. That thing probably was ding, ding, ding. No, yeah, no. I. <laughs> it was it, it was interesting to see those people there, you know. Um, <laughs> and then so many people trying to try it in so many different ways. I'm looking for an assistant. I'm not the assistant type. <laughs> I've always been executive type. I've always been executive. Like, come on. And my boyfriend works for the Hillary Clinton campaign, so oh. it was great for us to like. You know, we was do both. You went through all of that. And he couldn't just get you right up on them. Who was working? The difference between working for the DNC and working okay. for the candidate. Okay. So, with that so I got to go to the after parties, and okay. I think got plenty of pictures for Hillary. Mm -hmm. But you know, the DNC is supposed to be impartial. That's the yeah. guy. The girls yeah. in trouble. See, because remember, see, oh, was in in the <laughs> right. So it couldn't even be. It couldn't even be like that. Mm -hmm. it, it was. The, the, they and they really and they really did a good. I will say what they won't say, but they really did a good job of trying to keep the campaigns happy. Not well, well, keep the campaigns out of the influence of the DNC. I mean, clearly towards the end it was like you know, but they didn't want to be like like on some okay, we're gonna give the campaign people credentials, invite your friend, like all that, because Hillary it would be like Team Hillary in there. Mm -hmm. So they really did that. And I didn't want to make that because 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 I'm a journalist because he works for the campaign. I try not to. You know, flaunt that so much. But sometimes people see the little retweets and the mm -hmm. pictures like, oh, how do you got a picture of Hillary? Because I was there. And they're like, how do you get one? I didn't get one because you're basic. And I'm oh, like, no. You oh, know. no. You can't say that to so, No, someone tried it one time. I, I just feel like this is the rule, though. When someone's doing well and successful, don't ask how and what and all that. Say, say simply congrats. Don't, I can't stand people doing it because that doesn't sound like you're happy for somebody. When someone mm -hmm. says to you, you know, you say, you know, you answer for that comment or something, and I say, how'd you do that? But well, no, why did you do that? But I don't like that. Just say congrats. Like, why are you working? You can't congratulate everybody because some of the girls know how to work their way into them pictures and stuff like that. Well, well, we know those people, those those thirsty people, and them people you just don't ask. You just don't say anything at all. Mm -hmm. I don't have nothing nice to say. I don't say anything at all. Normally, I just say things like, hey, interesting. <laughs> See, the thing about it with those people is, usually things, <laughs> usually things no, that I often want to say that goes up to my, oh, no, that, actually, I'm saying it wrong. Right. Usually things that I want to say shoots down to my mouth so fast that the stuff that I was thinking just pops out. Right, no, Therefore, right. I'm like, you yeah, don't say nothing at all. No, I, I just try not to, or I just say interesting, or I just say, are you happy? <laughs> you read me to a question, are you happy? How do you feel? 
And if you say, I'm good, I'm happy, you're happy. So what, what was what was the conversation like about Debbie Watson and Schultz? Uh, oh, they were shading her. I mean, they were shading her. Um, she was getting booed at press conferences. Um, she just really just had a lot of people that just did not... You know, it was a lot of people who just... Re I just think people just want her to get out. Yeah, because yeah, they just did not want any of that attention to deflect. They, DC had a goal, it was to unify the country, get people she positive. Been there. When them leaks came out, she should not I have mean, she just had to, I mean, she was already there. And I do like her, she looking like, this ain't my fault that this leaked. I mean, I just think she just wanted to, her pride, you know, but she's working on the Hillary campaign now, so. But I just don't think now, that. I was reading that she wasn't working for the campaign. She is, she's, well, well, she's an honorary chair of Hillary's 50 to 50 Listen, states initiative. I, well, so, so it's not like the direct campaign, but it's like when they have initiatives that they go into statewide stuff, she's kind of like there. In other words, Debbie did her part. But and you know that's good. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. I, I, I'm not an answer, but you want to know a fun, a fun fact? Okay. Who was the last chairman of the DNC before Debbie Watson and Schultz? Um... It was Tim Kaine. Yeah, really? I didn't know Now that. you think about that. Really? Let that seep in. But listen, this I is... Just, I, just, I just let that seep in. <laughs> the person, the VP candidate, the Hillary's VP candidate, was the, the chairman of the DNC really? before Debbie Watson and Short. Let that sit in. So she's okay. She's good. Who, mm -hmm. Debbie? Debbie's fine. Yeah, Debbie's going to be fine. Debbie is sitting so unbothered. Yeah, she's Debbie she's has left. All I want to say is Debbie has played her part and she did what needs to be done. And she's going to be chilling. Yeah, but, but you know that really is a good thing because a lot of people are upset with Hillary. But they're Hillary not bothered. Debbie. They're not bothered. They, Debbie. They're upset with first. They're upset with Hillary. They always fall. You know the Bernie supporters first, are going. Well, listen, first, listen, listen, listen. At this point, it's either Hillary or not. Wait a minute. Hillary or not. Wait a minute. Either Hillary or not. Wait a minute. Hillary or not. You ain't gonna keep that. It's either Hillary or not. Wait. Gavin, look at how her hair is. Wait. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Ernie. Now back to Debbie. Cause I don't think that Debbie did oh. anything wrong regarding the emails. I remember she we just got caught that. up. She just got caught up. Like, okay, I understand that people were upset because the emails revealed that the DNC was trying to they were leaning towards Hillary. Right. But my whole thing is they were leaning towards the Democratic candidate that they saw would best represent the party. Keyword, the Democratic candidate. <laughs> Bernie Sanders is not a Democrat. I'm not disagreeing with that. He's never been a Democrat. I'm not disagreeing with that. And now that he's no longer the presidential candidate, his icon is now back to independent. Right. So, I mean, why I'm, are we so... I'm, I'm not disagreeing with any of what you're saying. I'm just telling you what the laws are and what the rules are. That's the problem. Yeah, well, people, Hillary people, did nothing wrong. I'm not talking about what Hillary did. I'm not talking about Hillary at all. I'm talking about simply what the rules are. Mm -hmm. With the DNC, which was what we were talking about earlier about this stuff. Mm -hmm. They're supposed to be impartial up until the nomination yeah. is voted on. I get the it. Nom Hillary was not the nominee until last year. Wednesday. She was a nominee because she was she had she was millions of points and ahead. And the presumptive nominee until you get but voted. To me, the she was a nominee until so she was voted. See, but I get that. But the rules are is that until the vote, until the gavel slung, in that moment, well, anything could have happened at, at, at those delegations, right? Have, yeah. The, anybody could have changed their mind the last minute. I mean, mm -hmm. Trump was bowing his nails to the RNC mm -hmm. because there was people up until the RNC that was trying Trump. to do a not trying yeah. to find it. Listen, listen. They would have threw Mitt Romney in there if Mitt, Mitt, Mitt Romney wanted it. They would have put, you know, okay. Paul Ryan in there if yeah. Paul Ryan wanted it. None of them wanted it, and they was looking and did, you know, listen. It. Anything can happen at a, at a, a convention. Mm -hmm. Anything can happen. So I think that they literally, until then, it's not your place to do that. Mm -hmm. Now, what I will say is that, you know, you saw this even happen with Hillary and Obama. There was still people who that was willing. I don't think people remember the whole election. They was, they was really trying to do that until Hillary, when the California vote came, Hillary was like, you know what? Now, nah, I'll just let Obama have it. I'm not going to fight the rip. Because in her mind, I think she probably sat there strategic. 
Then there she is now. I said, you know what? And wait until Why I go against him like that and then he hates me and can't get a job? I can't get put on next. Because Bernie Sanders has ruined his place for Hillary so bad, she's yeah. not putting him on anything. He's going to stay I there, mean, a senator from Vermont. It would be gonna nice that she is, but he's going to mind his business. Nice yeah. is the way to get the job done. No, it's Hillary, kind of Hillary took a, a, a back seat and sat down and said, look, clearly if this black man gets elected, this might start a new wave of new identity. And the party needed some new energy. Mm -hmm. The Clintons had a moment. We need the Clinton break. Now I think we want the Clintons again because now Hillary has something new to offer. Mm -hmm. But I think it was too soon for Hillary to run for president. You go Clinton, Bush, Clinton. No, no, no. We got to take a break real quick. Mm -hmm. Clinton, Bush, Obama. Clinton. 16 no. years. 16 <laughs> years. Old. There was a 16 year gap. No, you're missing. It was Bush, Clinton, Bush, Clinton. Whoa, well, no, you were talking about George. George. I know he said Clinton, Bush, Clinton, but I said no. It was Bush, Clinton, Bush, yeah. and it would have been another Clinton. Yeah. So we would have had the same two families for damn near 30 years. Well, exactly. Straight. Exactly. I right. think there needed to be a gap between that. I think Obama was a great eight yeah, year gap, gap. And she stayed on working. You know, some people, you know what they do? Leave. I'm not doing anything. Mm -hmm. And then they're going to want to come back in the race again. John McCain did that. Mitt Romney did that. And that's why they never were great opponents to their mm -hmm. to Obama or to any other candidate because they never built a new title. They Hillary sure had a whole new additional title outside of being a senator, outside of being a first lady. She became secretary of state. And then she took that and then she. You know, mounting herself again. And this time she says, Look, I have had all three in the check boxes. Mm -hmm. When she goes to the White House in January of 2017, she's not going to be looking like where the bathroom at. She knows everything. Didn't that. I say that? Now, she's that's knows everything. When she goes she into the White House, yeah. she's going to know when she goes into that Oval Office, she's not going to be trying to figure out how do I do this. She's going to already no, know what I'm going to do. Because she's been, and it's funny you the most ready, ready, The most ready candidate was a woman. So. And, 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 and Obama was right, and yeah. so was Clinton. Mm -hmm. They were right when they said that Hillary was the most qualified candidate out of both of them because she really, 40 years she's been doing this. Yeah. And she's done it for policy, domestic issues, state issues. And then you want to put somebody like Trump in office? Yeah. So for the people that don't want to vote for Hillary Clinton, then you want to die. What do you have to say to those people? Do you want to die? I'm gonna keep it simple. I see my listen. In this city, we do voter registration stuff, and 90% of this city is our registered to vote. Mm -hmm. I don't think we know that. The 90% of the city. 90% of people. Even when I go downtown, I haven't seen nobody trying to You said 90% of the city isn't? Or they is, are. Is, oh, is that's right. weird. 90% of people in this city are registered to vote. But they don't go to the polls. But they don't, they but they don't, don't vote. vote. But that's the crazy part. The part is that they are registered to vote, but they're not voting. Mm -mm. Nobody's so it's like you got to get voter participation up. Mm -hmm. And so it's weird to me because it's like you're thinking that the issue is people just don't have it. No, people have filled out the paperwork. They just don't go. They just don't go. That's why they be So it's problem. a problem. And uh, I got my new card in the mail the other day. Too. Yeah. People uh, register. People are registered to vote. No, 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 no. People are registered to vote, but they just no. don't vote. It, it's the biggest mm -hmm. shocker um, that I found out. Um, so if they don't vote, they can't complain about nothing. No, they can't. And that's why, you know, to me, even with this whole Bernie support hype stuff, you know, where y'all ass was at when these community issues was happening before? Y'all wait till Bernie Sanders comes and then y'all want to care about issues like this. People like myself has been in these issues before him, mm -hmm. during Obama, during mm -hmm. the, the mayors. I know who my, do you know who your state rep is? Do you know who your city councilwoman or man is? Do you know who any of these people are? If you don't, then why are you putting all your energy in national politics when there's local issues you can be addressing right here in your backyard? No, no, literally. I don't have a chance. Literally. No, he's, no, he's done. Jail. He's done. Yeah, he's going to jail. But that's what I'm saying. We let that. You, you don't want to know it's a shock and shock. But you know what's funny though? Oh, yeah. But you know what's funny though? Better watch it because she'll be right in there with it. But, 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 but you know what's annoying, but but you know what's annoying to me though is that. It's funny how everybody's calling out the national elected officials for corruption and crime, but we have all these local elected uh -huh. officials that stay in crime, uh -huh. stay in mess all the time, mm -hmm. and yet nobody's out there protesting about them mm -hmm. or calling them out. Well, maybe Fatah, but, but, you know, people, but you know, people, it's taken up for Fatah because one of his sister, his sister cursed me out and told me no, Shah Fatah wasn't doing nothing and told nobody else to do it. They all got caught. They got caught. They got caught. Wait a minute. But they don't. And they got caught. That's why she got fired. 
from NBC. NBC. That's that okay. question. That's why she got five. Fuck that, 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 I left. No, you got five. She done fuck with she she had, she had a good career here in Philadelphia, almost mm-hmm. 30 years. Well, mm-hmm. got with that man and fucked everything up. Fucked well, up. I'm just saying. Renee you know, was a black face, and I know okay. the that I saw on NBC. I used to watch all the that. Wait, you did watch it was on CBS, right? Channel 3. Yeah, I remember that. I remember that. CBS. CBS. Well, I was an intern when she was there at NBC. I'm still Yes. No, yeah. no, no, she, no, 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 she wasn't. Um, she just was somebody who knew what she wanted. She knew what she was doing. And if you couldn't help her, she wasn't trying to talk to you. And then the way, like, look, she was like, look, I need um, a bottle of water. And if someone was in the room telling her, hey, the sun is out, I don't care, I want a bottle of water. That's kind of how but she listen, was. She knew what she wanted. And if you wasn't able to give her what she wanted at that moment, she didn't have time for you. So I made sure that whenever I was around her presence, whatever she needed at that moment of any assistance, I was focused on that. Mm-hmm. I wasn't trying to do anything outside of that. That's how she was. And she had an important job to do. It's, it's unfortunate how everything has played out. But, you know. Poor Renee. Yeah. Poor Renee. The parties was crazy, though. Please. Now, was it some, somebody told me this. Now, I don't know. No, I ain't going to spill her team on camera. No, we're not going to do that. Are you going to say that? Oh! oh wow. That was you that said. Okay, we are not. Okay. We are not. No, that, no, was, no, no. that wasn't me who said that. Wait, what? Let's not spill this on camera. Now, I missed it. it. Now, okay, that was me. <laughs> <laughs> well, whisper it to me, Kevin. We'll be right back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Hey, <laughs> man! 